In this video we're going to show step by step how the sample uh, mobile application that we've showed in uh, previous videos is uh, built. So you can see here that uh, in our uh, sample app on the first page we have a uh, panel inside a panel navigator with an image on the background. So let's go back now and create a uh, new component. We'll keep it uh, as an empty component. We'll go to, first of all, we'll go and choose our um, uh, mobile style. Then we'll go over to um, controls and we'll put in a panel card um, and uh, we'll turn on our mobile simulator and then we'll specify that this uh, panel card has a background image and we'll go and choose uh, one of the images in our project so um, and there's the car the image of the car over there so that's 099 and so now we basically have ch uh, chosen a background image uh, for the panel over there so we can see our panel uh, with the background image now this um, panel was inside a panel navigator so let's go and add in another card uh, underneath this um, and then uh, wrap these two panels inside a panel navigator now so now we've got uh, a panel navigator and uh, if we go back to our uh, reference app over here we can see that um, we have a button over here that moves us uh, to the next card uh, in the application so and that button is in the footer section of the panel so we'll go back now to um, our new component uh, which we're building um, over here and let's turn on the uh, panel footer so we'll go there and turn on the footer and then inside this footer we're going to go put our button so let's go here to other controls and then go there to uh, button and then inside this button we're going to put some text that says uh, let's get started and uh, we'll turn off the break on that so if we go and do our preview now we can see the let's get started button and now we would like this button to give focus to panel card number two so we'll go to the on click event of this button and then we'll go here to the UX component panel actions and we'll choose that we would like to set the active panel to panel card two so now at this point um, uh, let's go and save this as uh, demo uh, UX so now when we run our uh, simulator here and they press let's get started you can see we transition over to the second panel but also when we look at our uh, re reference app we can see that we have a title over there so let's add in our title on the uh, navigator so we'll go back now and go to this navigator here and turn on the header and then inside the header we'll basically put some static text so we'll go there and add our static text and we'll just call this uh, static text uh, let's see uh, my app so we'll go back now um, and uh, set this to my app and then we'll set the container to justify the header as being uh, center justified so now we've got basically our header section at the beginning and let's get started and uh, right now we obviously have an empty panel right there so now going back to look at the reference app we can see that when we press let's get started we have a list control on this next panel so now let's pause and pick this up in the next video we will add the list control uh, to this uh, uh, application so we're continuing our tutorial on how to build this uh, reference mobile application and what we're showing here is how uh, the uh, the second page of the uh, application the second panel has a list control so we're going to go back now to um, the uh, component that we're building and we can see here that the um, second panel which is panel card number two is where we want to put our list control so let's go now to uh, uh, data controls and we'll choose a list control which we'll just call say list number one and now let's go and configure this list so this list is uh, displaying uh, data from the Northwinds uh, customer table I'm going to go and just turn off the break there 
and you can see also that what we've specified is that this list should completely fill the uh, panel contain the panel card that is contained in so now we're going to go to the list properties we're going to choose a uh, SQL data source we'll choose a connection string to uh, SQL server Northwinds um, so let's go and find uh, a SQL Server 2012 Northwinds over there and we want the uh, customer table so we'll go and choose the uh, customer table and then the fields we want from this table will be say customer ID company name um, contact name and uh, say uh, city and then country so we've chosen a few fields um, over there and uh, then we can go and configure the actual list so um, if we looked if we go back and look at our reference application uh, we'll see that the list used a uh, freeform layout so we'll go to our properties here and we'll specify that we don't want to use a columnar layout we want a freeform layout and then let's go to our properties and so now we'll choose the fields so we'll go here and we'll choose say um, uh, company name and then we'll put a uh, break to move to the next line and we want company name in bold so we'll just put in a bold tag over here so slash B and then on the next line after the company name we want uh, say the contact name and then we'll put in another BR and then after that let's go and choose uh, city and then also country so we've chosen um, a few fields actually let's also go and put into the first line let's also go and put in the uh, customer ID so we have customer ID company name etc so now we'll go ahead now and uh, save this and then save this and now when we go to working preview and we click the next button we can see that we now have our list uh, and the list is now uh, configured in um, um, a freeform layout but what we also see is that our let's get started button is still displaying over here and we really don't want that so what that means is that we put let's get started into the header of the wrong card we put it into the sorry into the footer of the wrong card we ended up putting it into the footer of the panel navigator and instead we should have put it in the footer of the panel card that is displayed and initially so let's go back now and um, put a uh, footer on panel card number one so we'll go there and add a footer and then what we'll do is we'll take this let's get started button and we'll move it into um, the uh, panel footer for panel card number one and then we can delete um, those controls over there so now when we save this and we navigate now to let's get started we can see that the list is displayed now and there's no longer the uh, let's get started button over there so let's pause now and pick this up in the next video so we're continuing our tutorial now on building this reference mobile application and let's go back and look at the reference app again and we can see here that when we run it after we click let's get started we have a button on the left here uh, that takes us back to the home screen so let's go add that now to our application and we also have a button here that is doing a search so let's uh, uh, temporarily ignore that button but put focus on the button that goes back to the home page so we'll go now and we want this button to be on the header of um, panel card number two so um, we can go now uh, to panel card number two uh, which would be this panel over here and add in a header and then inside this header we're going to put the uh, buttons that uh, uh, take us back to the uh, to the home panel so let's put um, uh, our button in here so we'll go now and um, we'll go to other controls and we'll put in a button and we'll say that this button text is uh, home and um, we'll turn off the break after the button and then we'll set the action on this button to go back to uh, panel card number one so we'll go there and we'll choose UX components panel actions and we'll go back to set active panel 
to panel card number one. So let's save this now and go back to uh, working preview. So there we go. And now there's home. But what we can see is that we ended up now with two with two different headers, which we really don't want. So what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, put this header, which is the header defined for the panel navigator, we're going to remove that header and move it uh, into the header for panel card number one so that uh, you'll see then that that will get rid of this double header action over there. So we're going to go now to panel card number one and uh, turn on the header and then we're going to take uh, this uh, control and move it into the header for uh, a panel card number one. So there we go. So now we've done that. And now we're going to go to the uh, panel navigator and we're going to delete the uh, panel header. So now what we see here is we still see a header on the first page, but this header is now coming from panel card number one. Now we go back there and now we can go back there and you can see now we've got our back button working. Let's go back now and center the uh, um, static text over there by uh, centering the uh, by setting the justification on the panel header to center. So we've made quite a bit of progress right now but we're still not uh, uh, completed by any means at all because we've still got it now put in the uh, map control, put in the transition from the list control to the map control, etc. So let's go back now and take a look at the reference application to see uh, what it's doing and uh, then go back to the app that we're building. So we can see now that in the reference application when we click uh, this button over here to get started, uh, that displays the list and then when we, when we click on an item in the list, that displays a uh, map and uh, this map is is on a uh, panel navigator that allows us to toggle between a detail view and a map view. So it's actually uh, quite a lot more complex than what we have right now. So let's pause now and uh, then when we pick it up we'll uh, enhance our uh, app that we're building so that it um, uh, matches this behavior of the uh, reference app.